Hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Okay, so we're going to take a look at Effectrix by Sugar Bites, um, which at the moment has got, a, at the time of this video, has got quite a few bugs going on with it. Can't get it to work with Audio Bus, although it's Audio Bus compatible. Um, it's glitchy with Interapp Audio. It does work with Audio Paste from the general clipboard, but won't work with um, Audio Copy Paste 2. Uh, HCP2. Uh, so what I've done is deleted um, the Retronyms version of uh, audio copy, audio copy and paste, and it works. I can get stuff in from the general clipboard. Okay, okay. So um, it's not too much of a big loss for me deleting audio copy paste because I hardly ever used it because it's too slow, and I know that you can do multiple samples and stuff, but and really it needs some. Sorting out as well. Anyway, Electrix, uh, Effectrix, sorry, is a very, very cool effects app. It comes with um, a load of, oh, you can load the stuff from iTunes as well. That works okay. Um, it comes with 20 loops pre installed. Doesn't sound like a lot, but like you said, you can audio paste. And when they fix the uh, interapp audio properly and um, the audio bus compatibility it'll be it'll be fine i'm sure they'll fix it very soon so basically here's one of the uh loops uh, I like with your dancing style no effects added at all want to go drink something so let's go i'm gonna start to mix in the effect all right okay so what you can hear there is uh, an effect called y, uh, YPS and we can choose from zillions of effects so let's just pick one and let's go to another loop Okay, so what you've got, you've got X Looper, which is uh, a, a kind of effect developed by uh, Sugar Bites. So to get rid of the other effects, we just double tap on them and they disappear. Now you can see down here, if I select X Loop, there's the X Loop uh, control, control bar here. And then you get extra uh, presets inside that and you can add your own. Okay, so... Let's just take that one out as well, and this one, and just let's play that riff, uh, that loop. And we'll add the X loop. And here's your control in here. It's also the size. How oh, cool, eh? So this is a similar idea to um oh what was what's the name of the other app? I sequential, I think. Oh let me just check. I'm not even sure I've got it on here now. Anyway. It's very similar to the, the other app that I re reviewed not long ago, whereas you can apply varying effects. The difference is that you can overlap effects. You couldn't do that with um, iSequential. You, 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 just, you were just kind of stuck with it. Anyway, it's still a good app, the other app, by the way. But this is uh, something else. This is very, very cool. So we can choose another...
you can as well mix you know you can blend the effect you're not stuck with it and you can adjust the mix for each each separate of effect uh, effect as well so we assign bit crush here which is there and automate that See? Go to delay, assign that to something. The width. So say for instance we we like that now that we, then we could we could save we could save that setting if we wanted to. Um, so you can see you can automate pretty much pretty much anything. You can automate any of the things that are there, which are basically everything that you've got inside the effect setting. So um, MIDI programs you can control this with MIDI as well, but I haven't tried that yet. Um, so you could save like you could save this preset as something else in user um, but there's so many there's so many if we just uh, select this one so this is going to appeal to a lot of people right but the main thing is there is a workaround I've sussed out that we could uh, use so we'll just quickly run through that as well but you can see how, how brilliantly controllable this app is so you can set your tempo in settings you have your mode input and outputs you can run it in the background there's your midi settings there and there's your record thing so it'll record for you can set it to record for x amount of bars or just record forever basically well until your device runs out of space so okay so let's see um let's just i don't want to close it but let's Go to Cubasis a sec. And we'll just create a new project. We'll call it um, oh, Test um, Effectrix. Okay, so that's done. And I'm just going to stick as um, um, some sort of MIDI, MIDI thing in there. So... that'll do it okay so I'm just going to um, hang on a sec just make it a bit bigger we're just going to put our cursor there and that's oh, already selected and copy and paste okay so we've got two uh, we've got eight eight bars so That's fine. Let's go to media. Mix down. Let's just create mix down. We'll do it, leave it as a wave, and uh, we'll leave the effect straight in. So it'll start. Okay. So test effect tricks. That's fine. And then what we're going to do now is share, and we're going to locate open in. Okay. And then we're going to open it in. Audio share. Okay, so audio share comes to the rescue yet again. So here is the loop, I should think, yes. Now, what we're gonna do is hit the little record button here. That's okay. Now this this is important. This is now uh receiving input from me. So if I turn that on you'll hear the the sound coming through, but we'll leave it switched off to hit the little uh record but uh sorry microphone button here. Oh, what is that? Oh, sorry, sorry. The little plus, and select file player. Okay, so now we should. There you go. There's there's our there's our what's it. Now here next to the first effects, 
Let's put the little plus here and we can use into app audio effects. So you'll see two effect tricks here. One that says music effect and effect. I, I had a problem with the one that said music effect, but that may have been something else. So if we just hit uh, this one here, it's appeared quite happily there. Now, theoretically, if we go back over here now, it should be interrap audio and there's our little audio share thing. So if we play. So there's our original, our, our, our original thing that we've done from Cubasis and now we can start to so let we just start it again because I've not got it looping so basically we can just run through till we find one that's it's, it's a mental I'll just oh, I'll do is I'll tell you what I'll go back to audio share and while we're playing with this We'll just um, loop, okay. So that that will just loop around now. Oh, it'll, it'll, no. do you know what? There'll be a little gap at the end anyway. It doesn't matter. There's our electric. Let's pick another one quick. Okay, that's fine. We'll stop there. We'll go back to audio share. And what we're going to do is. We're going to record now, okay, so. See when it comes to the end. Stop. Now, <clears throat> it's normalized it for us anyway, so. And there it is. And it'll say it will add the little uh, Fectrix um, tag at the end as well. So if we get rid of Cubasis now and we get rid of Fectrix, we should, we are still left with our. And of course now we're free to put this wave, this loop, wherever we like. Okay, so um, we can close that now. So that's how to do that, and another quick look at the app itself i think i've covered most things you can see how, how incredible oh yeah this is another thing as well you're you're not stuck with how fast this travels if we can set it faster or we can go right down really slow we have swing You see it's repeating there because that's how that's how many bars the actual thing is. So another thing we can do here is I can actually grab hold of it. There we can just decrease the the amount the effects works for. So for instance, if we go to this one here. We can set our our effects loop. It does work. It just, it's just, it's difficult for me to grab things because the tripod's in the way. Anyway, so there you go. There's effect tricks. Incredibly cool. Oh, another thing as well. Sorry. You have this MIDI, MIDI control here. You can trigger this from a MIDI controller or a MIDI keyboard, and then you can program in different. So, for instance, so we've got that loop going on there. But let's make it faster. Put some more in. Now if we go back to the C, there's our original, there's the original loop with nothing, but remember I put it on this F sharp here, so you can set all these different keys up for different different patches within 
effect tricks. All right, guys. <laughs> I'll see you later.